carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope of carbon that is constantly being formed in the stratosphere, way above our heads, by the action of cosmic rays, particles from outer space, interacting with nitrogen-14. That carbon-14 filters down and eventually becomes converted into carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is taken up by all living species, you, me, the plants around us. And we can count about 15.3 decays per minute for every gram of ordinary carbon that we contain. When a living species dies, it is no longer exchanging carbon through carbon dioxide with the environment. And therefore, the decay of the carbon-14 present steadily becomes less and less. This is the basis of dating using carbon-14. The expression that we will use in order to solve this problem comes from first-order kinetics. This is the first order integrated rate equation. And we know the relationship between K and T one half, which is what is given. K equals zero point six nine three over T one half equals 0 0.693 divided by 5730 years, which equals 1.21 times 10 to the negative 4 per year. Now what are A and A0? They are the quantities of the material that is being removed or destroyed by the first order reaction and all radioactive decays are first order. Therefore, we can represent A and A0 as the 8.3 decays per minute per gram of carbon, divided by what it would have been initially when the wood was fresh, which is 15.3 decays per minute per gram of carbon. So that ratio equals negative 1.21 times 10 to the negative 4 per year times t, where t is the time that has elapsed since the wood was cut down. t, therefore, equals the logarithm of 8.3 divided by 15.3 divided by 1.21 times 10 to the negative 4 years to the negative 1. You can see the units of that are going to be years, which is of course very appropriate. We need a time unit for the answer to this problem. Plug those numbers into your trusty calculator. The logarithm is negative, the natural logarithm, negative 0.612. And that equals 5.05 .05 times 10 cubed years, or about 5,000 years. So this wooden statue was made from wood that was cut down about 5,000 years ago. By the way, that does not prove the statue was made 5,000 years ago. Art forgers are very clever about disguising such things. For example, in an excavation, 
In Egypt, for example, they may have found just a piece of timber that was 5,000 years old, that was buried when the pharaoh was buried. And they might have employed a sculptor to make a rough statue and then passed it off as a 5,000-year-old statue, even though the statue might have been made a year ago. You have to be very careful in establishing the provenance of ancient objects, even when they are dated reliably by carbon-14 dating.